Hi everyone, welcome back to Prakasham Tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss about one more example of the probability. The given example is, in a game of dice, a shooter can win outright if the sum of the two numbers showing up is either 7 or 11 when two dice are thrown. So what is the probability of winning outright? And this is the given example. Now coming to the solution. So given that when two dice are rolled, the total possible outcomes are 6 into 6 is equal to 36. When two dice are thrown, the total possible outcome of the given experiment, given experiment are 36. So that possible outcomes are, uh, therefore the sample space that are 36 possible outcomes, the sample space or sample points of the sample space are when throwing two dice, 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4, 1 comma 5, 1 comma 6 and 2 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 2 comma 3, 2 comma 4, 2 comma 5, 2 comma 6, 3 comma 1, 3 comma 2, 3 comma 3, 3 comma 4, 3 comma 5, 3 comma 6, 4 comma 1, 4 comma 2, 4 comma 3, 4 comma 4, 4 comma 5, 4 comma 6, 5 comma 1, 5 comma 2, 5 comma 3, 5 comma 4, 5 comma 5, 5 comma 6, 6 comma 1, 6 comma 2, 6 comma 3, 6 comma 4, 6 comma 5 and 6 comma 6. So these are the outcome of the when throwing two dice. Totally there are 36 possible outcomes. Uh, the sum of the numbers appearing on the dice. Now here sum of the numbers. Now there are two events are de defined. One event is defined as two numbers showing up some 7 and uh, sum of the numbers appearing on 11. Some of the numbers appearing on the number 7, some of the numbers appearing on the number 11. So when two dice are thrown, the sum of the numbers appearing on the dice are uh, 2, 2, 12. So 1 plus 1, 2. So the minimum value of the sum of the numbers appearing on two dice, when two dice are thrown, the minimum sum number is 2. And the maximum sum number is, when throwing two dice, the maximum sum number is 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. So the sum of the numbers appearing on the two dice are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So these are the chances of sum of the numbers appearing on the two dice when two dice are thrown. Now here find out the probability of sum of the two numbers showing up is either 7 or 11. Let us consider two events. Event A is defined as the Event A is defined as the sum of the points on the dice being some 7. Okay, sum of the points on the dice being 7. And event B is defined as sum of the points on the dice being 11. So sum of the uh, points on the dice being 7 possible combinations out of these sample spaces. 6 comma 1, 5 comma 2, 4 comma 3, 3 comma 4, 2 comma 5, 1 comma 6. So these are the possible chances of possible chances of some of the points on the dice being 7. So the favorable outcomes are 6. 1 chance, 2 chance, 3 chance, 4 chance, 5 chance, 6 chance. So the possible chances or favorable outcomes are 6. So therefore the probability of getting some 7 is equal favorable outcomes by total outcomes. So and what are the favorable outcomes? Some 7. Some of, uh, some of the points on the dice being 7. So that chances are 6 and the total outcome of the experiments are 36. Therefore, 6 by 36 is equal to 1 by 6. And, and the second event is defined as sum of the points on the dice being 11. So on, uh, out of these 36 possible chances, uh, so, uh, some 11 appearing on the dice possible chances are 6, 5 and 5, 6. There are Two possible chances, sum of the points on the dice being 11. For now we have the possible chances are 2. So therefore, the probability of getting sum 11 is, probability of sum 11 is equal favorable chances divided by total outcomes. That is 2 by 36 is equal to 1 by 18. So, the probability of that the shooter can win outright is either sum 7 or sum 11. So that is probability of sum 7 or probability of sum 11 is equal probability of sum 7 plus probability of sum 11. So probability of sum 7 is 
6 by 36 plus product of sum 11 is 2 by 36. So 6 by 36 plus 2 by 36 is equal to 8 by 36. So this is the example of the joint probability. And what is the joint probability? Product of A union B is equal to product of A plus product of B minus product of A intersection B. So now here is the A intersection B. A intersection B is 0. So there is no common elements of um, some of the points on the dice being 11 and some of the points on the dice being 7. There is no common chances. So that uh, some 7 intersection some 11 is 0. So this is the good example of the good example of the joint probability or addition theorem.